All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Victoria Earth, uh, which paint color actually matches mine. Um, this is actually for sale for $2,000. Um, 23,000 miles are on it. We actually got the posts right here for the, uh, for the flags. Um, so a lot of people seen my first video where I did the short and then you guys see my post. I did chat with the guy a little bit in regards to this hearse and before I get anybody excited, I am going to throw it out there that I will not be purchasing this hearse. So again, I will not, it is not happening. I will not be buying this hearse. Um, it is in really rough shape. So like I said, we've got some dings on the hood here which I don't really want the dings or the scratches on it I'm pulling off guard a little bit because it has been out of inspection since 2009 you guys can see remnants of actual concrete bits here that are actually on it so this thing was sitting somewhere where it was getting concrete flung at it so I'm definitely not a fan of that. Um, the tires are bad. And the underneath is rotted. Very bad. Um, there's actually the flags right there. Which is actually really cool. I'd, I'd love to buy the flags off the guy actually. And those mounts. But, um, you know, this is definitely a hearse that is for parts. Or, uh, you know for just being in a Halloween display. I do love though how this is actually painted blue. That is a really, really nice touch there. Right over here, you guys can see the s, &S Victoria. And under here is the world of problems. You guys can see some rot right there. Definitely backed into something at some point. So, I know a lot of people were looking forward to me making this purchase and getting this hearse. Um, however, like I said, there's just entirely too much I don't want to deal with with this hearse. And then also, the guy that I'm talking to seems to be a bit of a dick as well so i i just I, a part of me had even thought and sorry my phone's ringing but i can't get to it um a part of me had even thought you know yeah just as like a, a dud in the yard you know whatever it'd be a nice display piece but the thing is upon trying to even talk to the guy like the conversation just went nowhere um part of me with twenty three thousand miles on this being last inspected in 2009 Traditionally, I don't see a hearse being retired that young. Um, you can tell it sat because of the rot and with the concrete bits on it. So, my thought is I think it's a flood car. I think this was in a flood somewhere and that's what happened to it because that is very low mileage. I asked him in regards to original documents, you know, what funeral home it was at, this, that, and the other. He didn't want to tell me anything. Um, so I think there is something that's trying to be covered up and hidden in regards to that hearse. So, yeah, in regards to that hearse. So again, it is a real shame because I do love the Victorian style where the roof is cut lower. That would be great for making a modern day Ecto-1 because I could actually put a, uh, a bracket that would go to the roof to hold a light bar and do like lights and things to it. Where mine, because it's so slanted up high, I can't get those brackets that would sit on the roof and then connect to the door because it's just too too tall. Um, so this would have actually been perfect for me and I really do love and appreciate this hearse. It is a very beautiful hearse, but it's not gonna be the hearse for me. So still would like to keep the idea of having a second one, but unfortunately it won't be this one. So anyway, I'm gonna continue hunting for a hearse. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, sorry to disappoint some of you. Kind of disappointed myself as well. Um, 
but you know that's why i figured it'd be fair to at least come over here with the camera and uh be able to show you guys and let you guys see so that way you're on the same page with me um and you know wondering and understanding why i'm not going to be making this purchase so thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time The apocalypse.